No way. That's amazing. In this video, I need to tell you about a discovery that I've made. Well, I've been hearing about this Boss FS1 WL. It's a Bluetooth foot pedal. So what? Big deal. There are lots of them. Yes, but with this one, we can actually connect directly to our Aerophone AE20 or AE30 without going through any other piece of kit. Just before we get into it, please, I would be very grateful if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you're finding the information useful. And don't forget, there's a link down below to the ISAX Academy. Now, this is growing fast. Uh, you may already know I've got my first basics course on there. Uh, this uh, is, a, is a course for the Aerophones uh, to teach you all the notes on the Aerophone. And in a few weeks time, I'm going to be releasing the, the course that's been specially adapted for the Aerophone Mini, which of course has a slightly different fingering arrangement. So if you're itching to get started and get the best possible start for your Aerophone Mini, click on the link below and subscribe to my email list. It's coming soon. The FS1 is a pretty small, compact unit. It's a kind of plastic shell, but it feels rock solid. Like a lot of these Boss products, you know, it's meant to uh, survive uh, heavy duty life on the road. It's got three uh, foot switches. And, you know, these switches firstly are really quiet, okay? So if you're gonna use this as like a page turner, which is one of the ways you can use it, then this isn't going to annoy or interrupt anything. Um, it's got a series of inputs on the back. We've got the power on off switch, of course. Uh, we've got DC in, so we can either use this on two AAA batteries or with that DC power in. Then we've got two quarter inch jack outputs. Now, they are useful for expanding the amount of foot pedals you've got. So you can use a Boss foot pedal to go into here and add even more switches to your setup. And you can even add a Boss expression pedal. So if you wanted continuous controller, say of something like uh, the amount of re reverb you might use or the volume on something, you can connect it onto the expression pedal jack. There is MIDI out. That's on like a little mini jack and you get a you can get a little adapter to get your full five pin MIDI out of there. And there's a USB out as well. So that'll connect directly to your computer if you want to, or something like an iPad if you want to use it wired. But of course the beauty of this is it's a Bluetooth pedal so it connects wirelessly and the interesting bit for me is the two bits at the end here because there are two separate sections one is labeled as instrument and the other one is labeled as a pc or tablet now this is intriguing because what actually happens here you can connect to two different things simultaneously in fact if you used the, uh, the wired connection over USB and uh, the, the mini jack MIDI out, you can have up to four different simultaneous connections to outside gear. So let's look at some of the use cases. At this far side, you select to begin with whether you want to use this as a MIDI device, a MIDI Bluetooth device, or uh, as a device that's going to send keystrokes. So as a keystroke device, what we have is three separate memories. By the way, you choose the memory by just booting up and pressing either the one, two or three pedal. So if you boot it up with uh, the first pedal pressed, it's default uh, signals, if you like, that it's sending out, it's going to work like your page turner. So if you've got something like four score, you can flip pages forwards or backwards and you can choose a third uh, function. I use it to start and stop my backing tracks. 
In the second memory slot, what we've got there is actually a, a really handy function to connect to either your computer or here on the iPad. Uh, you can control things like YouTube. So if you're watching a video and you need to kind of go faster, go forwards, go backwards, you need to pause for a while and then play, say you're learning a riff or something uh, and you need to listen to it several times, you can use this foot switch to navigate your YouTube or other playback device on an iPad or a PC. And then on the third memory slot, what you've got there is a door control. So if you wanted to set it up, say, to uh, control your, your digital audio workstation, you could have something like uh, play and pause. Um, you can even select tracks up and down if you have the uh, other pedals connected there. So all of that is over and above what we're gonna look at next, which is how do we use this thing with the Aerophone? Boss have produced an app to go with this foot pedal. It's available for Android and iOS devices. What that allows you to do is get into the settings and change exactly what this pedal is going to send out to your device. Now, firstly, to my amazement, what I discovered was that this thing connects directly. No problem at all. You just get the Aerophone set up so that Bluetooth is on. This thing will find it when you press the little instrument button on the back. It's magic. So I was pretty flabbergasted about that and I needed to find out a little bit more. Now in the Roland uh, parameter guide for the Aerophone, what you can see there is uh, partway through that guide, there is a list of uh, functions that can be controlled on the Aerophone by something like this Bluetooth pedal. So for instance, if you want to set this pedal up to change your scenes up and down, you can do that. If you wanted it directly to select a certain scene for you, you can also do that. So the way I got mine set up now is that I have kind of 12 favorite scenes. By the way, you can select either your favorite scenes or your user scenes or up and down in the uh, preset scenes. Any one of those is available. But what the way I set mine up now is I've got my say 12 favorites. I make this middle button select the kind of middle favorite there, number seven. And then I know that if I go down from there, I'm going through my uh, lower favorites. And if I go up from there, I'm going through my upper favorites. And that's not all. If we wanted to, we could use this for several other things as well. So we could use a pedal here to set whether the harmony is gonna play or not. If you wanted to press a pedal to set the drone function to start and stop, yes, you could do that. You could even use the buttons to transpose the sound from your Aerophone if you'd like to. And you can change octaves, uh, all manner of things you can control just from this device. The way you set that up, by the way, is you simply go onto the app, you select the button that you want to change uh, the function of, and then looking on that parameter guide from Roland, you simply select the correct CC number. Once that is selected and programmed into your pedal, off you go with your wireless connection. Now, when I'm doing my gigs at the moment, my rig is pretty much running off the Camelot software. So Camelot can do all sorts of clever things like read the sounds that are in your Aerophone, whether they're the presets or the user tones, and then you can select them by selecting uh, the scene changes or patch changes within the uh, Camelot screen. Great, but I don't wanna have to stop playing and press the button on the uh, Camelot screen to change my scenes. I also would quite like to be able to use some internal sounds on my Aerophone, but also use some of those great swam sounds that Camelot can run for me. This is all on an iPad, by the way. So here you can look at my setup. My uh, Boss pedal is now going to select for me between either internal sounds, which that will uh, send to the Aerophone to change the sounds, 
or it can swap onto another scene where I'm using, say, a swam violin or something. And all of that gets switched on the swam uh, engine or the Camelot engine straight away and my aerophone simultaneously because they're all interconnected. It's magic. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, it took me a little while to figure this out and it's well worth uh, reading the instructions. There are some other YouTube videos that you might want to watch which will give you a little bit of help with that setup as well. But the main aim for this video was to show you just how useful this thing can be with your AE20 or AE30. I'm using it all the time now, as well as those other functions as being a page turner, uh, a door control and uh, controlling things like YouTube. So I think this is a really useful piece of kit. Now it's £109 in, uh, in the UK, um, which is quite expensive. But when you start to look into the functionality and the fact that it can uh, connect to multiple pieces of gear simultaneously, you begin to realize actually it's something that might be worth considering. For me, just the simple fact that I can now change scenes really quickly using my pedals, that's a lifesaver. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this has uh, given you something of interest to look into. And uh, please remember, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, that's really, really helpful. Don't forget, you can also click on the link below to find out more about my ISAX Academy and the courses that are coming up soon, which is the Aerophone Mini course to teach you all the notes on the Aerophone Mini and my very special uh, hack to give you another half an octave on the Aerophone Mini. Also, it's not gonna be long before my advanced Aerophone course is coming out. Keep watching.